Okay, now we're going to look at the open D chord and its associated pentatonic scale shape. In figure one, you'll see the common open D chord. It's one of the first chords that everybody will learn. And of course, just like with the open C and the open G, it has a pentatonic scale shape that we can uh, see that surrounds the chord pattern. And that is in figure two. In figure three, you can see how that scale pattern surrounds the D chord. Um, the R right there on the D string is uh, the root note. And that's if we were trying to find our bottom note, that would be it. Um, and that is the root note in the scale pattern as well. Um, it's kind of a weird location. We have two strings right here that lead up to that root note. But we'll talk more about the root note and its significance later. In figure four, you'll see the suggested fingerings for fretting the notes. Uh, of course, we've got several open strings. Five of the strings are open. So basically, we're just using our first three fingers. Uh, it's pretty easy to play. But at this point, I should tell you that the third note on the D string uh, has been, I've added that. The actual pattern will be learning a movable, um, excuse me, a movable version of it later where that note right there will be transferred basically one fret below where it would be one fret below that G string. But since the open tuning doesn't allow that, I've went ahead and added the note on the D string. And hopefully, hopefully it doesn't confuse anybody, but I didn't want to just leave the note out. Later on, we'll carry the, the chord pattern up the neck to create other chords, and we'll carry up the scale pattern as well. And it will look something like in figure five. Um, so that note, the third note on that D string is no longer there in figure five. And it would normally, if we had, if we could go down one fret below that G string, it would be right there. But if you wanted to just learn this pattern instead of the other pattern, that'd be perfectly acceptable. But uh, don't, I don't want anybody to get confused by that. So basically, if you learned it like that, you'd be omitting one of the scale steps and that makes it sound kind of strange. Um, so I went ahead like a, to show you like in figure two, the whole scale shape. And uh, go ahead and include that note there, third note on the D string. Because you notice in figure two, that G string's only got one note and that's on the second fret. And But that is the basic scale shape, pentatonic scale shape for the open D chord. And you can use these notes in conjunction with the D chord or you can use these notes to add fills. And of course in another lesson we'll cover this in more detail. So we'll see you then.